Oh, I am excited to be on the panel because I I didn't do this that long ago. I mean, I was a generalist for a very long time, so it's still fresh in my mind how scary it is to go and, and niche your practice, um, have the money in place. So those are the things you yeah. want to talk about. But yeah, I mean, best hands down decision I've ever made in my career, and I've been in my career for a long time. So yeah. I, I think that's one of the things I'm excited to be here for and passionate about this topic. Previously, uh, when I started out, I had, I started going into construction and I had, and I had one interior design client. She was super small and right before COVID, she actually closed her business. And oh. so I was actually, I had like a mix. I had like probably about 40% construction and about 40% um, like consulting services and then the rest was like a hodgepodge. Um, so when I decided to do interior design, I didn't have any clients at that moment. It was kind of like, this is the thing I like. When I go into Marshalls and all these and at home stores and all these stores, my daughters are like, no, like don't, like let, like we can't be in here all day because I get lost. And so I didn't have any clients at that time when I decided that I wanted to kind of pick that niche. So I just picked it and I was like, this, these are the people I want to work with. And the fact that there wasn't, for what I could see, very many people in the space, it was kind of yeah. like, mm, they're big waiting opportunity. for me. They're waiting for me. Big, <laughs> so big opportunity. Yeah.